you're a novice racer and wanted to enter a racing series, you might choose the Caterham Academy. Starting from around £20,000, you get a brand new 125 brake horsepower 7 and a summer of racing. But now, British sports car manufacturer Radical, they've come along and as usual, they've taken a term like novice racing and they've brought it to a whole nother level. Because this doesn't exactly scream beginner, does it? This is Radical's SR1, the car that's fronting its new entry-level racing series. It launched in 2013 and was deemed to be a great success. Former Olympic cyclist Sir Chris Hoy raced in it and absolutely loved it. The SR1 appeals to those who have to start from the bottom, but want to do so in a serious bit of kit. Powered by a 1.3-litre four-cylinder Suzuki bike engine, it produces 185 brake horsepower, apparently detuned because the prototype was just a little bit too hardcore for its audience. But don't think that makes this Radical a soft proposition though. Weighing just 480 kilos, that gives it a power to weight ratio of 385 brake horsepower per tonne, more than a Lamborghini Gallardo or Murcielago. It also has a 0 60 time of 3.6 seconds, a six speed sequential gearbox, and an aerodynamic body that can pull over 2G in cornering. Despite all that, the series is only for drivers who've entered less than six competitive races. For an entry fee of £37,500, you get the car, worth around £29,000, race suit, race license, test days, and entry to the eight round championship. It may sound expensive, but this is motorsport, and comparatively for the level of performance you're getting, it's a relative bargain. And today I'm going to discover just how accessible these machines are. I've been given car number one, no pressure then. Racing driver Andy Wallace will be instructing me for the day. He's helped Radical develop the SR1, has won Le Mans, and drove the production car record-breaking 240 miles an hour in the McLaren F1. So I'm in good hands. Well, the SR1 Cup's unique in that, uh, first of all, all the drivers that are, that are in the series are all novices. So it's a fairly level playing field. Not many people have any experience at all. The races we had last year, they were all fantastic races. Really good overtaking, not much uh, contact or damage. And I think you can learn to drive in a safe environment, which is really important. So actually, the cars are fantastic to drive. I mean, they're a proper prototype racing car. They're fairly low powered, 185 horsepower, but they weigh less than 500 kilos. So the cars move around. They're really enjoyable to drive. After getting some feedback from Andy, it was time for me to go solo in the SR1. of driving the SR1 whilst trying to drive it for the first time. It is a real race car in every sense of the word. But it's just so easy to control. It's like a go-kart, it really is. I know that's a cliche. But after the first couple of laps feeling intimidated. I now feel absolutely liberated. And in a thing this powerful and that fast, that is no mean feat. You can get it to slide quite easily if you put the power down too quickly. After all, there is no traction control. This thing's LMP1 style appearance. It's actually on road style tyres, and the reason for that, radical say, is the slick tyres, although they'll give you more grip, when they fall off, they fall off hard. Whereas these tell you what they're doing and instill with you more confidence. And that's the philosophy Radical have applied in every facet of the SR1's development. Everything in this car has been geared towards the novice. So it may look intimidating, but trust Radical when they say everything under the skin is for the beginner. So it has that wonderful advantage of looking ferocious, of looking 
looking like a badass racing car and making you look like an absolute hero. I will say one thing, this car flatters you. Well, it's been a long and frankly exhilarating day, but what I can say is Radical have been really smart in creating the SR1 Cup. They've provided serious competition in entry-level racing, backed by a name that's highly respected in motorsport. It gives a beginner a serious racing experience incredibly quickly in a no-nonsense package, yet the way you're immersed in it is gradual. And with a confidence-boosting and communicative car that Radical do so well, it's a contradictory experience, both bonkers and unintimidating. You can then upgrade your SR1 to the Clubman spec and then move on to the SR3 Cup. They're getting you hooked from the start. And it may be a lot of money, but if I ever come across that much, I am signing up.